Well, you know, a water distiller is it's really interesting because it's quite simply, it's, um, it's a rain-making machine in a box. And it allows the rain after it, it's, uh, after the water, after the vapor has condensed and formed rain to maintain the same purity as it's falling through its enclosed environment. Uh, very much like the hydrological cycle uh, that we see today in nature. And actually, that's really what it, 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 um, it mimics. Uh, water will rain, and it'll rain and water will fall in a river, in a lake, in a stream, in your lawn, and it'll infiltrate, and then maybe go to aquifers and work back up into a stream, and then from the stream out into the ocean. Go well, through this entire cycle, at any point in time, uh, uh, the sun is, is out there and the water will start evaporating. And, and the evaporation process is what purifies the water. No matter what it's gone through, it may have gone through sewer, it may be sewerage water, no matter what it's gone through, where it's been, whether it's been in ocean water or not, it's, it eva the evaporation process takes place. In taking place, it, it eliminates and drops all the, all the contaminants, the poisons, the toxins that are in that stream, river, lake, pond, oil or gas uh, uh, pond, whatever it is, it leaves them behind. And then it rains, it purifies it, and it rains back down. And it's like drinking raindrops. The purest raindrops because in nature nowadays we have to be concerned about uh, when it drops back down from those clouds because if you've heard of things such as acid rain and other things that will re can recontaminate that water before it hits the ground even. So what this does, it protects it and, and purifies it so you've got pure H2O. You know, and, and uh, I say pure of 99.9, 99.9999. Uh, because you can't quite say 100%, but uh, I'll use that 99.99 uh, uh, figure to uh, give people an idea of the difference and what it really does uh, for you.